Hello YouTube, today we'll be using an iPod to play music on an iPod. So how exactly does it work? You do have to jailbreak but I have made tutorial videos on how to jailbreak iOS 4, 5, and 6, so if you have an older iDevice running one of those iOS versions, then they will be linked to the description down below. But this is also not limited to older devices. You can use this with newer ones as well. But with older ones, this will bring a lot of functionality and use back into them, especially if you're not using them at all. And you can convert speakers or even a stereo system with a built-in dock into an AirPlay compatible device. You can of course use this through the dock or just use the auxiliary input. How do you install this tweak? Well, once you've jailbroken and installed Cydia, you then have to go into sources, edit, add, and then once this prompt pops up, you need to install the source cydia.angelxwind.net. Now once you've installed it, you can click on it go into all packages, and it should be the first one. It's known as AirSpeaker, and this is the tweak that enables your device to become an AirPlay player. Now once you install the tweak, it'll be located in settings. Now you do have to scroll all the way to the bottom, but there's usually a separate section just for jailbreak tweaks, and it will be known as AirSpeaker. Now in here, you can enable options like enabling or disabling it, so that means it would appear or disappear from your AirPlay list, you can also change the name of it, so you can change it to the device type or just a custom name. And you can also password protect it. And that's it. It's an extremely easy to use tweak and you do have to jailbreak, but especially on older devices, it's extremely easy to do so. And again, those videos will be linked in the description down below. Once the tweak is installed, all you have to do is go to a different device's AirPlay menu and it'll show up as AirSpeaker. And of course, you can always change this to a different name if you want within device settings. Also, if you wanted to, you can also select the device itself within its own AirPlay menu. But if you do this and you try to play, it'll just default back to itself and nothing will really happen. And of course, you're not limited to just an iPod Touch. You can also use this with older iPhones or even iPads. So if you have a older device just laying around, but you do tend to use AirPlay a lot, then this is a great way to bring a lot of functionality and use back into these older devices. And the best part is, you can still use your device as a normal device. So if you have apps or games you wanna play, then it's still fully functional. This also does bring a lot of functionality back into these lower capacity models, such as this iPod Touch, which only has eight gigabytes. And in reality, it's more like 6.5 due to the OS taking up that space. And if you were to install music, it would be more worthwhile to use an actual device with more built-in storage or an actual iPod and use these older iDevices as something like an AirPlay player for older apps and games, streaming services, or if you just want to mess around with Cydia, install tweaks that way. If you guys enjoyed this shorter video about a pretty cool Cydia tweak, then be sure to let me know in the comments down below. And if you guys want to, you can support the channel by subscribing. And thanks for watching.